Hell y'all, welcome to part 23 of my Rene Gunan Morocco playthrough in the Hearts of Iron 4 mod Kaiser Redux. In part 22, the Sultanate of Mankind annexed Sweden, Flanders, Wallonia, as well as the Batavian Commune, and also the Romanian Legionary Kingdom. And last but not least, the Georgian Kingdom. And so let's unpause now. We have some divisions available, lots of infantry, 94 divisions. We have so many divisions. And let's get all these divisions together and send them somewhere. I don't know where that place will be, but we'll drop them somewhere that they're needed. Send them maybe to the Middle East and just help out. Could solve their control there. Get that done for us. So let's move troops around here, get to maybe. Have them take out maybe, then get Persia, Jabal Shamar, Yemen, and all these other countries here. So push there. There we are. Get this done. And they'll start advancing once they arrive. This army will. And how is the 12th army doing? Any reinforcements on it? So let's take some units out of the 22nd army. Send them to the 12th army who is not at maximum capacity at this time. They lost a few divisions. I think the 12th Army was the one that fought in Sweden, which was at one point. The troops there were almost nearly encircled, and I think that's how we lost some divisions. Or supply issues, I don't know. How are we doing with guns, I wonder? It can't be that great, because we are making tons and tons of... Okay, never mind. We're doing great on guns. Doing great on infantry and equipment in general. And we have some troops outside Rio de Janeiro, the Brazilian capital. Capital. Let's swoop in there. Advance. Also move some more units up to Panama, possibly. Where is this army going here? This is the 11th army. Send them up to Panama. You guys need to move into Panama. And somebody had a peace treaty or not. I don't know what happened there. Let's just get the entire 11th army and go up into Panama. That's what they need to do. And we finished just fine on, on White Ruthenia, which is a country that is currently neutral with us. They were in the Reich's Pact, but when the Reich's Pact collapsed, they kind of just became neutral with us, so we're invading them now with the 21st Army that has like 47 divisions. We don't even have enough command power for commanders at this time, so we just have huge hordes of troops being led by armies that have no real commander or particular general. We have some units in Jamaica right now. We have tons of naval bombers deployed in the Caribbean, and let's try to set up a few naval invasion orders. We're going to strike at both, well, at Cuba the, what is it, strike at Cuba, Haiti, and the Dominican, Re Dominican Republic. That's what we're going to do. We need to capture all these countries in the Caribbean and maybe use them as launching pads to get into the USA, which is still currently in the Second American Civil War. And set up that order for the invasion, naval invasion of Santo Domingo there. Get this done. Five divisions will go into Cuba, land at a port there. And even if they do face opposition, I think they will win. And so let's set that up to be activated automatically and start using this Navy force here on... They'll go into a, like, try to get naval supremacy in the Caribbean. That's all I gotta do. Just actually, no, I gotta get rid of those orders. Yeah, there we go. So just patrol the Caribbean. That's all I gotta do. They have the backing of, like, 300 naval bombers, so they should win any battle they get into, frankly. And did we win a... Oh, never mind. Those were just convoys. Push into Suriname. Hopefully we have like 31 divisions there. We better win. And how we're doing in Brazil. we got to get to another place in Brazil in order to win this war. Get it over with. Just push more into Brazil. And the Kingdom of Somalia has capitulated. There should be a peace conference for that soon. I think. And Somalia. Yeah, we just took out Somalia. Were they part of any faction? I don't know. Not sure. Let me check. They are... They're not in a faction. Oh, they're a puppet of... They're a puppet of the Ethiopian, well, Abyssinian Empire. That's probably why we can't have a peace deal with them yet. And we're getting more and more troops in... in where? In... Africa. Right now we have 20 divisions here. Maybe just have them... Let's reinforce the 17th Army, 17th Army when possible. And we'll try to push more into Central Africa. We'll leave East Africa at some point, so push more down here. Give them tons and tons of units. And that should be enough to do it. Take all these troops we have here. We have here 40 divisions, so just push into 
all of Africa with those 60 divisions. More garrison troops are ready. We have tons and tons of garrison troops. Now we have 1,600 garrison units. And we have some units encircled in Brazil. Okay, that happened. Oh well. So keep advancing. Gain some more ground, hopefully. Just keep pushing. Maybe we should give more units to the troops in Brazil. I don't know. I, don't, I just don't know. And how's the naval invasion plan going here? It is... They don't have enough naval supremacy. Oh, come on. That's annoying. How is Wyrthenia faring? They're going to go down very soon. Let's go ahead and justify the United Baltic Duchy. We just got a war goal justification done for Lithuania. And that is nice. How is Persia faring? They are going to probably outlast Jabal Shamar, honestly. And we'll go for Yemen very soon. We're already fighting Yemen. We just got to make our way down into their cores in the southwestern part, I guess, of the of the what? Of the Arabian Peninsula. So we'll take care of that. And I hope we can get naval supremacy in the Caribbean. It's so, oh my, how many ships do you have here? There's so many naval vessels here. Let's just build up the naval base in build up the naval, the I mean the air base in in Kingston in Jamaica and just have our plane just fly out and do sorties. And let's also build up the infrastructure in in where? In Suriname has capitulated. They're out of the fight now with us. Let's build up the build up all these railways in Russia because we do need to improve our supply situation. What's gone wrong there? Did we lose some land or something? Just improve all this. Get this as good as we can. Get it all built up. We have tons and tons of factories. We have cores on every state on every state in the world. So frankly, a world conquest is inevitable for us, but it just takes time. Just due to the fact how our divisions have to move around constantly into every continent of the world. And I think we should be doing better with the with the the supply situation pretty soon since we're trying to build up those railways. And we're done justifying on the Baltic Duchy. How is the... Okay, White Ruthenia is more of a problem than I thought they were. Let's have these units execute, execute their battle plan more aggressively. And so they'll try to push a little bit more. And let's move some of our, some of our aircraft out of France and Germany. Send them all over to Eastern Europe. And try to shoot down anything they encounter in the skies for the Sultan of Mankind. Take them out, please. That's all you gotta do. We just need tons and tons of planes dedicated to that task. So just win there, and that'll be good. Move some planes around, possibly to different air bases, so that it can be used more efficiently. Efficiently, and move a couple more planes, possibly, to down here near Kiev, or I think no. Whatever, just move them down there. And this is a bigger air base actually. So move all of our planes down here, and we should overwhelm anything in White Ruthenia at this point. Do we have any more close air support? I hope we do. There's just so many planes. We have taken out so much, so many countries. We have all their equipment and it gets a little annoying to keep track of this constantly. The Russian national state has decrypted our cipher. Whatever, it's not going to make too much of a difference in that conflict. So we have some more planes deployed here. Let's send them out to White Ruthenia. And we do have air support now. More divisions are ready to go. So many garrison units, so many. We're going to get to 2,000 garrison troops before the end of this playthrough, I just know it. And what is left for us to take in Brazil? My goodness, so let's take more of northeastern Brazil, I guess. Just do that. Take this big city here, or try to anyway. Do we have any infantry? We do, so many divisions. These are all going to go to the 14th Army, fighting in South America. How's the push going there? There's no push. There's no naval invasions going on just yet. But there is some attempts to take Jamaica from us, from the, well, from the Canadians. And it's not going too well for them. And let's give our garrison force, the 4th Army, more orders to just garrison even more places. So they're garrison all these places in Russia. We're taking over. Let's go there. There we are. Get this done. Just have them garrison absolutely absolutely everything. We have so many garrison divisions, we might as well use all of the ones we have. And that's going to be, require, like, what, 17, nearly 1,700 garrison troops? Yeah, it's going to be a lot by the end of all this. Okay, that's good enough for now. And let's unpause. 
and war off this naval invasion here. How's the airbase construction going? It is 600 capacity naval bombers now. Let's get some naval bombers moved here. Control click. I gotta be careful. I want to at least get to 100 naval bombers, so I need to be precise in how many I deploy. Deploy them all over the Caribbean. Get that done. And that will be about 400 naval bombers in the Caribbean at this point. Get more of these planes out here. Get to 100. There we go. And that is done. Deploy all these. Send them out. That's 490 naval bombers. And I think we're done with naval bombers for now. We just don't have capacity for any more. We don't have any more in our surplus. White Ruthenia has capitulated. We'll annex all of them. Pass. Get rid of this screen there. Annex everything. Take it all. All of it will now be controlled by us, the Solnit of Mankind. So let's move that army we had fighting there up to, say, Lithuania. Send them to that place. And they'll take on the Lithuanians now with those 47 divisions. It should be easier. Well, I, I will assume it will be easier than White Ruthenia. Well, to beat White Ruthenia. It will be easier to beat Romania than it was to beat them. So let's set up this order one more time. There we go. And actually, no, let's just declare war on both of them at the same time. It won't matter too much, I think. Why with Dinia and the Baltic Duchy? We have 47 divisions. I think they should, we should be able to just fight them with that one group. So annex. Declare war on these guys. Annex. I think I already had war goals to fight them, but I just didn't use it. Oh, well. Just fight both of these countries at the same time. Get that done. Or not. Whatever. We'll just get another army to get up here soon enough. So just push everywhere possible. Get that done. And they'll begin advancing. And that's underway right now. We have so many units garrisoning Turkey, it's absurd. And we're pushing more into Persia. We took Tehran ages ago. Now we got to get to the eastern part of Persia. And how are we doing in Africa? We're winning somewhat there. The Germans have started moving more divisions to face our units in East Africa. It's not going to matter too much, though, I think. Let's advance some divisions here, push more into northeastern Brazil, take this area here for the Sultan of Mankind, destroy these divisions, hopefully, these units in Brazil. Well, in the, what is this, the western part of Brazil. Take those places out and march on Panama. Get that done. We have so many divisions there, they just need to be doing something. How is the naval invasion stuff going? Not too well. It's still pretty stagnant here. Do we have any more bombers? I'll take close air support doing... I'll take anything for this. We'll do close air support doing... We'll have close air support aircraft do naval bombing missions. It's better than nothing, honestly. So almost there. Five more planes. It's done. They'll try to do naval strikes, I suppose. Get that done. Strategic Bomber 2 has been researched. We have so many... Okay, we have a lot of research slots that are just not doing anything right now. Let's get modern fighters. Well, more advanced fighters than, we, than what we already have. It's 1943 right now, and this tech is from 1944. And that's done. Let's also start making... Actually, never mind. There's some naval invasion in England. The Jabal Shamar has capitulated, and there is going to be one country now out of the picture in the Arabian Peninsula. Take all states. There we go. And now we have some units now just pushing into Yemen and such. Maybe let's move a few divisions here to this province near Abu Dhabi just to protect that front line. Gotta be careful. And how are we doing in Persia? We have some units start making their way into Central Asia. The Lithuania has capitulated. Now we gotta deal with the... What is it? The Sultanate? Not the Sultanate, but I mean... Got to deal with the United United Baltic Duchy, who made some advances, but not for long, because we're going to move in with the 21st Army very soon. We got we just got to give them the order and then the offensive line, and that'll be that. It will pretty much that war will pretty much win itself, frankly. That's a lot of our wars, honestly, because we're just overpowered. No micro required. Just set up the offensive line and go. And let's try to link up our troops here in Central Asia. Can we get that done, guys? Get it done, please. I know there's slightly more divisions there than we expected there would be, but you should be able to handle it. We are still dealing with naval invasions in Jamaica. It's a little annoying. And are we pushing up here? No, we are not. Are there any ships here? 
on the Western Canal Zone. There is not. So maybe we should just rethink our strategy for doing naval invasions. We maybe could just do a naval invasion from Colombia to Panama and Central America instead of trying to do this stuff in the Caribbean where it looks like the Entente just has their entire navy here. We'll just leave the, I guess I suppose we'll leave the naval bombers, we'll just move all of our units and ships to this staging area in Colombia we have, I have in mind. So I'm going to end part 23 of my Rene Gunan Morocco playthrough in Kaiser Redux here. We are making good progress in our mission to take over the world. We'll get there eventually. And besides all that, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. You can check out Kaiser Redux in the video description. The link to the mod is there.